Welcome to Wrestling Showdown Entertainment. This is Friday Night Frenzy. And a big thank you to our supporters. Why We Watch Wrestling. I'll put their uh, channel down in the description so you can go follow them. And also a big thank you to the company itself, Feelings of Fighting, which is located in Sheffield, England. If you're interested, I'll put the Instagram uh, page down as well. That way you can go follow them. Check them out. It's a really cool place. Uh... Wish I lived in England, that way I can go to some of the events. But without further ado, we're going to start with our first match. It's going to be our technical champion, Neil Braxton, going up against his former friend and the former technical champion, Cedric Hawkins. So we'll see what happens here tonight. And here we are with our first match, making his way to the ring. Your two-time technical champion, Neil Braxton. And Neil Braxton is ready to compete here tonight. His former friend Cedric Hawkins has said he's gotten more of an aggressive side and he's become a lot more arrogant lately. And Neil Braxton does not believe him, so Cedric's going to prove it here tonight in this match. We'll see how these two competitors do. And to let you know, Neil Braxton is 6-6 six, six with wins and loss. He's hoping to pick up a win against his former friend and show him who is the boss and who is the champ. So we'll see how it goes here tonight. And as you can see, Braxton's ready to go here tonight. Not smiling as he usually does, but this still should be pretty interesting to see what happens nonetheless. And now his opponent making his way to the ring, the former technical champion, Cedric Hawkins. And Cedric Hawkins uh, hasn't really competed much. He's mainly just been called. He mainly called out Braxton, and is hoping that he would have been able to get through to him, but was unsuccessful. So he decided he's got that. He's got to fight him here tonight and show what he's doing in this match. Uh, Cedric Hawkins is three and six, so he's hoping to pick up a win, and he's at a bit of a slight disadvantage because of the amount of losses he has. Because if I remember right, he is on a bit of a cold streak. But we'll have to see what happens here tonight. As you can see, Cedric Hawkins is ready to go here tonight. But let's get moving on to our match. So here we go. Neil Braxton versus Cedric Hawkins. In 3, 2, 1. Cedric making the first move over to Neil. Neil's just sitting there watching. Nice elbow to the head on Braxton. And nice arm drag right there by Hawkins. And there's a punch as Braxton gets up, but a nice belly-to-belly -belly right there onto Braxton. Missing the kick. Braxton's back up, and a nice neck breaker right there by Braxton. Doing a good job of t uh, doing some damage right now. Ooh, nice kick right there to the head. And looking to pick Cedric Hawkins up. Throwing him with an Irish whip and messing up. Will Hawkins take control? Yes, he will. He's going to show how it's done. And a nice drop kick right there by Hawkins onto Braxton. And Hawkins picks him up for a nice suplex as well. These two are going back and forth right now. Let's see if Braxton might be able to take control against his friend. And Braxton does take control. And there's another nice kick right there to the head. And a beautiful move right there by Braxton onto Hawkins. As you can see, Braxton is starting to get a little annoyed that Hawkins has already done a good bit of damage on him. He's going to try to use his environment, using the ropes and slinging him back. We'll have to see if... What Hawkins says is true if Braxton has really become a more arrogant, more aggressive wrestler. There's a quick knee DDT right there onto Hawkins. And Braxton's looking to fly from the top rope. And a nice elbow right to the head. Hawkins has to roll out of the ring and Braxton going over the crowd. Trying to see if he's got any love and he's got a lot of love here tonight. Braxton taking some control, throwing Hawkins over the rope. And Hawkins with a nice reversal. 
There's a nice punch right there by Hawkins. And Braxton returning one back. And taking some control with a nice knee right there to the gut. And a beautiful clothesline knocking Hawkins down. And a nice jumping elbow drop. And a beautiful rolling fisherman suplex. And here's the pin. One. Not good enough. Hawkins able to kick out easily. And there's a drop kick right to the back of the head of Hawkins. And Braxton looking to use the ropes to his advantage. Looking for a springboard forearm. My goodness. Beautiful move right there by Braxton. And now just working on the neck of Hawkins. You can see Braxton is getting a little annoyed, but not too bad right now in this match. And Hawkins has to do something if he wants a shot at winning this. And there's the lumbar check right onto Cedric Hawkins. That might be it. Braxton dragging him to the middle. That way Hawkins can't grab a hold of the rope. And here's the pin. One, two, three. Neil Braxton pulls off the win against Cedric Hawkins here tonight, gaining his seventh win while Cedric Hawkins gains his seventh loss. And as you can see, Braxton and Hawkins are back up. Braxton looking for a handshake from his friend. Ooh, Hawkins not too happy about the loss as he's leaving the ring. But let's move on to our next match. And here we go with our second match. Joseph Sage making his way to the ring, your showdown champion, two-time showdown champion. And he is challenging Luke Barrett here tonight. Luke Barrett was talking a lot of crap last uh, last week about Joseph Sage. And Sage wants to put him in his place here tonight. So we will have these two mountain men go after each other in this match. And to let you know, Joseph Sage is 7-6 and six with wins and loss right now. He was able to pick up a win last week on Friday Night Frenzy to win back his showdown championship title. Kip Elmore will be putting in his rematch clause very soon. But he hasn't told me when, so we'll find out when he's going to do that. Here we go, Joseph Sage sitting, waiting in the ring for Luke Barrett to come out. And making his way to the ring, the opponent for this evening, Luke Barrett. And Luke Barrett's been competing in a couple small matches, not anything big. So this is going to be a real big match for him here tonight. He is 2-3 and three with wins and loss. Hoping to pick up a win here tonight. And hoping that he can at least pull off a victory. Because everyone remembers a couple weeks ago when he lost to Willie O. Watson in singles competition. Willie O. Watson was able to get the roll up on Barrett and get the pin. Winning the match in Barrett has been mad about that ever since. So Barrett's looking to show what he is made of here tonight going up against Joseph Sage. So we'll have to see what happens when when these two square off. And let's go ahead and move on to our match. So Joseph Sage versus Luke Barrett in three, two, one. And Luke Barrett starting it off nice and strong with a very unique Fisherman Suplex. Ooh, with a nice punch right there onto Sage. My goodness. And now throwing Sage across the ring. These two are both very competitive. They are very aggressive and show no mercy when it comes to beating the crap out of anyone that gets in their way. They usually like to throw each other, they usually like to throw people around the ring, so this should be very interesting to see it happen to them for the first time. And Barrett is now slamming Sage's head into the turnbuckle, taking full control against the showdown champion here tonight. And there's a nice reversal by Sage. And Logan to show off his strength. Beautiful move right there. And there's a nice elbow drop right onto Barrett. 
and choking him, picking him up, and a two-handed choke slam right there onto Barrett. That's got to do a lot of damage. Sage picks up Barrett and is looking for a suplex. Is it a suplex? Oh, yeah, it is. He's going to do a couple squats with Barrett still up in the air, showing off his strength. My goodness. And there we go, knocking Barrett down to the ground. And a nice knee right there onto the head as he picks Barrett up once again. But Barrett going to take some control with a nice Irish whip, throwing Joseph Sage out of the ring and going to throw him right back into the ring. And multiple stomps onto the chest of Sage. And picking up. Ooh, slamming. Sage into the turnbuckle, and there's a nice power slam right there. And Barrett doing a little bit of mocking at Sage. And here we go. Beautiful leg sweep right there by Sage. And Barrett's back up, taking control. And a beautiful arrow suplex. Not able to get the pin due to Sage's feet being on the ropes. Well, that's not going to stop Barrett. Barrett's going to get him back up. But Sage taking control with a nice Irish whip into the corner. And putting Barrett into the tree of woe. Whoa. There's a kick knocking him down. And picking Barrett. Getting Barrett on his knees. And grabbing him by the back of the neck. Where's he going to take him? He's going to set him up on the rope. Setting him now on the middle rope. What is he about? What is he planning on doing? Oh, a beautiful move right there. Able to get through both the ropes, make it to the other side, while doing damage around to Barrett's head. Now flipping Barrett back down as soon as he got back up. And looking for a submission hold right here onto Barrett. But Barrett able to power out very quickly against Sage. And Barrett looking to take some control here. Oh, nice reversal by Sage. And Sage looking for the Northern Light suplex, not letting go of Barrett, rolling over, and there's the suplex to end it. Sage has finally got it built up, and here we go. He's looking for it. He's ready to finish it here. And here we go with a butterfly pile driver right onto Barrett. That might be it. Here's the pin on Barrett. One, two, three. Your showdown champion, Joseph Sage, wins the match. Luke Barrett gaining his fourth loss, while Joseph Sage gains his eighth win. As you can see, Joseph Sage very happy about his win here tonight against Barrett. Barrett pretty upset about it. All that smack talking didn't help him whatsoever in this match. Oh, but Sage is coming after him. Not going to let him go after all the crap he's been talking about and throwing Barrett right onto the apron, slamming his head down right there. And now Irish whipping him right into the steel steps. My goodness. Well, that will end this. Let's move on to our next match. And here we are with our third match, making her way to the ring. The former boxer and the first Butterfly Women's Champion, Alyssa Riley. And Alyssa Riley's still really mad from last week when she competed in the Fatal 4-Way Elimination match. Winner would go against whoever won from Monday Night Mania on Wednesday Night Clash. Uh to get a shot at the Butterfly Women's Championship title. She ended up getting second place. Rose Hernandez was able to sneak in a win against Riley, and Riley is very, very upset about this and has challenged Rose Hernandez here tonight. I'll let you know, Alyssa Riley is 3-6 and six with wins and loss, so she's hoping to pick up an easy win here against Rose Hernandez, but we'll just have to see. Maybe it won't be as easy. And making her way to the ring, the Spanish beauty, Rose Hernandez. And to let you know, Rose Hernandez 
is the number one contender for the Butterfly Women's Championship title. Able to beat out Rebecca Kelly in the match to gain the opportunity for the title. So she will be going against Michaela Tice when Michaela Tice is fully recovered, which should be not next week, but the week after. So in two weeks, they will fight on Monday Night Mania for that title. And Michaela Tice hasn't told us what the stipulation will be, so we'll have to wait and see. As you can see, Rose Hernandez, very excited, wants to prove what she is made of and show that she definitely deserved that title that uh, title shot here tonight by beating Alyssa Riley. So we'll have to see what happens. So here we go, Alyssa Riley versus Rose Hernandez in three, two, one. And Rose Hernandez looking like she's gonna make, no, Alyssa Riley making the first move, grabbing Rose by the hair and throwing her down on the ground. And now picking her up, putting her in a nice powerbomb position and slamming her back down. Beautiful move right there. And throwing some major stomps right on Hernandez. Like I said, Riley is not happy about Hernandez beating her. So we gotta see what, what will happen here. And Riley using the Irish whip and throwing her right up into the air, letting her fall flat on the ground. And there's some nice elbows right there onto the shoulders. Riley taking full control of this match and going to the middle rope now. Beautiful move right there. Missing it, Hernandez was able to reverse it. And a nice leg pull right there by Hernandez. Now I'm sorry when I said beautiful move, I was just I meant beautiful reversal. That's my fault. And Hernandez now taking some control. Riley's back up. Not for long, Hernandez using the Irish whip. And there's a nice head scissors kick right there onto Riley. And now grabbing Riley by the back of the neck, putting her over on the ropes and using the ropes to throw her backwards. And a nice kick right there to the leg, just aiming for that leg. Nice reversal though by Riley, back up at it again. And there's a nice DDT. And looking to show off her strength, picking Hernandez up, and there's the military press slam. We'll press drop. And Riley looking for a submission hold here on Hernandez. Hernandez trying to reach the ropes with her feet, but she's able to get out of it nice and easily. Riley was focusing a little too much, seeing Hernandez's feet, that Riley was able to use her hands and sweep Riley's feet out from underneath her. And now throwing Riley over the ropes and bringing her right back in with a suplex. Beautiful move right there by Hernandez. And there's a nice body splash right there onto Riley, looking for the pin now. Oh, she's going for a dirty pin. One, two. Riley able to get out of it. Hernandez not happy about it. And Riley's not happy about that dirty pin. As she slams Hernandez into the turnbuckle and throws her right to the middle of the ring. My goodness. Now missing the kick. Hernandez is back up. And a nice back suplex right there. And looking to hurt the arm with a nice stomp. These two have been going back and forth, back and forth. I'm wondering who's going to start winning, who's going to win this match. But Hernandez looking to hurt both legs of Riley with a huge stomp. Now picking up Riley, putting her on her knees. There's a slap right onto Riley, and Riley's up, not happy about that. And there's a nice reversal by Hernandez, able to get out of it, out of the hold, out of the uh, uh, slam position. And a nice arm drag right there by Hernandez onto Riley. Hernandez sits there and watches Riley. Beautiful move right there by Hernandez. And Hernandez looking to finish it here on Riley. And here we go with the Latin disarm. But Riley was able to get her bottom feet onto the ropes. 
so she was able to ignore it. But Hernandez looking for another dirty, oh no, not looking for a dirty pen. Here's two. Riley still able to get out. Hernandez cannot believe it. Hernandez is going relaxing in the corner, trying to figure out what she can do. On to Riley to get her to uh, to stay down and let her win the match. Hernandez is going to go top rope. There's a nice diving elbow right there. And a nice stomp right onto the face. As she looks for a drop kick while Riley was trying to get up. Looking for a huge stomp right there onto the elbow of Riley. Definitely hurting that arm. And flipping her back down after, after she picked Riley up. Here's a submission hold right there onto the arm of Riley while her knee's right on the back. Will Riley tap out? No, Riley able to get out of it. And there's a nice elbow right to the face onto Hernandez. But Her R Hernandez still going to take some control right here. And looking for a snake eyes onto Riley. And she's now post down onto the bottom turnbuckle. And a beautiful sit down powerbomb by Hernandez. Hernandez has finally got a lot of momentum built up. Here she goes, she's taunting over at Riley. Still trying to build up that momentum. And there we go, able, with an, able to take her down with another arm drag. And a nice arm, arm breaker right there, going for another submission hold right on the arm. Trying to do anything to injure that arm. Hernandez now putting Riley on her knees and looking for another way of hurting that arm once again doing the same thing want to make sure it's nice and vulnerable that way she, well now nice and fragile that way she can hurt it and here we go Hernandez is looking for it once again there's the disarmer but Riley able to get out of it able to grab a hold of the ropes Hernandez is getting very frustrated right now, as you can see. And leans back into the turnbuckle. Not sure what she can do, but she's going to go for a pin here. One, two, three. Rose Hernandez able to get the pin. Noticing that Alyssa Riley was not moving, Hernandez was able to go in there and sneak a, sneak a pin right there onto Riley. So Hernandez gains her sixth win while Riley gains her seventh loss here tonight. Let's go. As you can see from the replays, Rose Hernandez did a, pre, uh, did a really good job in this match. Same with Riley. Riley did really good when she had controls of the match, but she lost all that momentum when Hernandez was able to take over after her nice reversal on to Riley. There's that beautiful arm drag just knocking her back down on the ground. And you can see that disarmor wasn't able to work. But Hernandez still picking up the win anyway. As she's getting ready for her title match. That, that will be coming very, very soon. Let's go ahead and move on to our next match. And here we are with our next match. William Ross is putting up an open challenge here tonight. One to prove how strong he is. So he's called out whoever wants to battle him here tonight. And to let you know, William Ross is 8-2 and two with wins and loss, so he's hoping to pick up a win against whoever challenges him here. So let's see who it is. Oh, I know who it is. It's Willie o. Watson. Wow! He's ready to compete here tonight. He's going to be the first person in William Ross's open challenge. William Ross plans on doing a lot of these open challenges to prove himself worthy of a shot at whatever title he wants later on uh, more than likely it's going to be a showdown but we'll have to see he might tr switch his plans but to let you know Willie O. Watson is 2-1-3 with wins draws and loss so he's hoping to keep so he's hoping to pick up a win here tonight he was able to pick up a win against Luke Barrett who's one of the other aggressive wrestlers 
So maybe Watson will be able to do another uh, impressive win here tonight and beat William Ross. So we'll just have to wait and see in this match. So here we go, William Ross versus Willie O. Watson. And three, two, one. And William Ross just pushing Willie O. Watson down. And Ross just keeping him down with a nice kick. And now looking for an iron claw right there onto the shoulder. Looking to do some good damage right there onto Watson. And Roz calling for it. He's wanting to end it fast. Thinking this is not much of a challenge. There's a huge punch right to the ch ribs. And now picking up Watson, showing off his strength and slamming him down from that military press position. And now just working on the neck of Watson. But Watson able to get out of it. Very impressive by Watson. Watson able to flip the big giant down and looking for a nice triangle hold right there onto the arm looking to do some good damage onto the arm if you can't get the head or the body just go for the arms or the legs with the big guys Watson being very smart about this very smart indeed but Roz looking like he's powering out a bit and there's a big punch right there to the ribs once again and Roz now taking control and missing that big boot. Watson able to grab a hold of William Roz's huge foot, but still able to take control. And there's a nice backdrop right there by Roz onto Watson. And doing a little bit of show, a little uh, bit of a show off, being a little bit of a show off right there to the crowd. Watson throwing a nice punch, not knocking Watson, uh, William, Dra William down. Who? Willie William. My goodness. La, la, la. Using the ropes to throw Rods backwards now. Watson still standing. Doing a good job against the Giant here tonight as he grabs the Giant by the back of the head. Looking to set him up on the rope. He used the rope to fling him back once again. Here's a nice punch as William Rods gets back up. Watson grabbing him by the back of the head. Looking for it once again. Just using the ropes to his advantage. And there's a quick knee DDT by Watson onto Roz. And Roz is back up now. And a huge punch, another huge punch right there onto Watson. And a nice power bomb position right there. An inverted electric chair by the looks of it. Very nice. Watson getting back up, but Roz still taking control. Beautiful move right there onto Watson. William Ross trying to work his shoulder back. Might have already injured his shoulder just a little. And now putting Watson in a submission hold. A one legged crab. And Watson not reaching for the rope. It looks like he's able to get out of it with a nice kick. Roz with a nice reversal, elbowing him in the face, and there's the spear right there onto Watson. And a huge stomp right there onto the face. As William drags Watson closer to the middle, there's a huge punch right there onto Watson as he was trying to get up. And now picking him back up, looking for the weapon of mass destruction. That might be it. Here's the pin on Watson. One, two, three. William Ross able to pick up the win here tonight against Willie o. Watson. Willie o. Watson gaining his fourth loss while William Ross gains his ninth win here tonight. Very good match. Willie o. Watson did put up a good fight, but it was it was not good enough to beat the Giant here tonight. As you can see, William Ross is your winner. Well, let's go ahead and move on to our next match. And here we are with our fifth match. And making his way to the ring. This is singles match making his way to the ring. The former showdown champion and also former tag team champion, Kip Elmore. Now, Kip Elmore was challenged on Wednesday Night Clash by the Panther to fight him here. Panther did call him a wuss, saying he did not deserve to be the showdown champion. And Elmore did not like that response and has challenged Panther here. So these two are going to fight it off in singles competition here tonight. Kip Elmore is 8-4 with wins right now. 
wins and loss. So we'll have to see how he does against the Panther. Panther is going to be a very worthy foe for Elmore to go against. But with the history Elmore's got, he's got this in the bag. I'm, I'm more than sure he's got this in the bag. I said Panther after getting an impressive win on Wednesday Night Clash said that Elmore was not worthy to be that champion. He's glad he lost the title. Elmore didn't like the response and now and Elmore and Panther are now gonna fight it out here tonight. And speaking of Panther, Elmore's opponent for this evening making his way to the ring. The Panther And to let you know, the Panther is 8-5 and five with wins and loss right now. So he's pretty equaled up with Elmore. So this is going to be a very impressive match to see who ends up getting a win here tonight between Elmore and Panther. Panther's got more of a very aggressive, very agile, acrobatic style of wrestling. While Elmore's got more of this power, agile uh, use of wrestling. Just wanted to throw the opponent around. So this should be a very, very interesting match between these two agile wrestlers who have different ways of taking care of their opponents. I'm very interested in see how they're going to do in this match as Panther makes his way to the ring. If you're still watching, I want to give another big thanks to our supporters. Why We Watch Wrestling, I'll put their YouTube channel down in the description below. Go check them out. They're awesome. And he's also a co-owner of the other company that is uh, that is promoting me and helping me out as I am helping them out. And this wrestling company is called Feelings of Fighting. They are located in Sheffield, England. Go check them out. It looks amazing. Uh, from the pictures I've seen on Instagram, it just looks really cool. Again, just go check them out, guys. I'll put the link to the Instagram uh, page down in the descriptions below. And Panther is now in the ring, and he looks like he is ready to go here tonight. Let's go ahead and get moving on with our match. We have Kip Elmore versus the Panther in three. Oh, no. Elmore wanted to show some respect. That's very unusual. Or was it Panther wanted to show some respect? Might be a trick by Panther. But we'll have to see what happens. Might be a trick by Elmore as well. Again, we're just going to have to see what happens between these two. As Panther now taking some control. But Elmore going to use the ropes and Irish whip him away. Missing the drop kick. Panther going with a running body splash right into Elmore. And Elmore taking control again. Beautiful move right there. And looking for a leg sweep now. Beautiful combo. I'm still very confused what happened between Elmore and Panther. They just shook hands after all the crap that they were just talking about. Very, very confused indeed. And there was a nice throw by Elmore showing off his strength. Now looking to Irish whip Panther. Looking for a drop kick. And there's that drop kick. Elmore doing a good job of taking some control now in this match. And looks to drag Panther over to the ropes. And going to use the ropes to fling him backwards. There's a kick to the back as Elmore continues to stomp on Panther. Now picking him up. Beautiful move right there by Elmore on to Panther. But Panther now with a nice reversing Irish whip, putting Elmore into the corner, putting him in the tree of woe position now. And looking to choke him out with putting him in a foot choke. Panther over on the other corner just watching. Elmore sitting up, but Panther comes over with multiple elbows right onto the shoulders. Now, 
face scrape right there using his claws on Elmore and then a nice backdrop right there onto Elmore and looking for it once again showing no res showing no uh, respect whatsoever nice northern line suplex by Panther doing some good job taking control as he calls Elmore to get up he's gonna use the ropes looking for a springboard missile drop kick right there onto Elmore doing amazing damage and Elmore gonna take control throwing Panther over the ropes and setting up on the middle rope but Panther now taking control beautiful move Elmore's feet hit the bar the top of the barricade that's gotta hurt and the ref starts his count as these two continue fighting on the outside Panther doing a good job taking control there's a nice backhanded chop and a, and a claw another claw and a kick right there now having him by the back of the neck looking to take him over and now throwing him right into the barricade and slamming his head into the barricade Panther showing no mercy trying to go for a kick but Elmore with a nice reversal able to stop it and just hurting that ankle of Panther while the ref continues to count and a nice reversal by Panther as Panther throws Elmore back to the ring and here comes Panther right at the count of eight Panther now throwing Elmore into the corner and looking to send him back into the tree of woe and we've seen this before Panthers looking to finish it here with a moon stop a moon stomp right there onto Elmore Panther now dragging Elmore to the middle of the ring that way he can't grab a hold of the rope here's the pin on Elmore one two Elmore able to get out Panther does not believe it whatsoever my goodness Panther just shocked as he sits there and looks at Elmore nice stomp right there now picking up Elmore looking to hopefully do more damage maybe get him to fall down there's a nice slam right there into the turnbuckle and a nice running power slam right there into the middle of the ring doing amazing damage right onto Elmore as he picks Elmore back up Panther doing a good job of taking full control of this match flipping Elmore back down on the ground looking for another eye scrape right there using his claws to his advantage and there's a nice belly to belly Panther gonna use the ropes again and calling for Elmore to get up once again looking for that missile drop kick once again beautiful move and beautiful distance right there as well by Panther and Panther slams Elmore's head down to the mat my goodness there's a nice backhanded chop Elmore back up and taking some control now and looking for a nice back suplex right there on to Panther and Elmore got his energy built up here we go with the nice comeback oh missing the comeback and Panther looks like he's gonna take some control now throwing Panther I mean throwing Elmore into the corner but Elmore with a nice reversal able to get back up and a nice northern light suplex here's the pin one not good enough Elmore took a little bit of energy out of him he's got to gain some of that energy back as he continues as he goes to the middle rope now beautiful move right there onto Panther and he sits Panther up looking to stretch out that neck hoping to maybe break it more likely go we've seen this before Elmore throwing some multiple elbow drops right there onto Panther's chest this is one of Elmore Elmore's signature moves and is very good at this move and one more to finish it off and for good measures and again that took some energy out of him but he's going for the pin one two able to get out of it Elmore a little shocked he was able to get out of it after all those elbow drops 
Elmore sits there and looks at Panther while he's still down on the ground. Crowd is cheering for Elmore here. And Panther is back up now. And Panther might be taking some control now, flipping Elmore down to the ground. And putting him in a chokehold. Will Elmore tap out? I can't tell, but Elmore looks like he's able to get out of it here. Nice elbow right there. Another elbow right there to get out of it. And taking some control now. Now, beautiful neck breaker. Both men are down on the ground. But Elmore getting up. Trying to get the pin. But Panther's foot was underneath the rope. So it wasn't able to work. Elmore's back up. And there was a nice stomp. Another big stomp. And slowly sits up Panther. Missing the kick. Panther's back up now. But Elmore going to take control once again. Grabbing Panther by the back of the neck, using the ropes to throw him backwards. And here we go. Using a pickup power bomb right onto Panther. Doing amazing damage. Missing that stomp though, but he's going for the pin. One, two, not good enough. Panther's still able to get out of it. The crowd is up on their feet cheering for this match. They love this match. And here we go. Panther getting grabbed by the back of the neck by Elmore. Thrown into the turnbuckle. And Elmore setting him up on the top rope. What does Elmore have planned? Oh, Elmore's looking for a superplex by the looks of it. Yes, he is. He's looking for a butterfly superplex from the top rope. That could do a lot of damage right there. That might be it. As Elmore goes for the pin now. One. Two. Elmore still able to get out. El I mean, Panther is still able to get out. Elmore does not believe it. One bit. There's a stomp right onto the face of Panther. As Elmore starts rubbing Panther's face right on the ground. And there's a nice elbow drop right onto the back. And he stands Panther up now. Looking to throw him into the corner. And setting him up into the tree of woe. And Panther with a nice reversal. Able to stop that stomp and knee Elmore right into the face. Panther going to take some control. There's some nice claw hits right there. And now throwing Elmore into the corner. And looking to set Elmore up into the tree of woe now. Is Panther about to do it again? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Panther going to the top rope. Looking for a moon stomp. There it is right onto Elmore. This might be it. Oh, my goodness. This might be it. Here's the pin on Elmore. One. Two, three, your winner, the Panther, pulls off the impressive win here tonight, gaining his ninth win, while Elmore gains his fifth loss from this. This was an amazing match, an amazing match indeed. And before we go, we got to look at the stats. We got to see how this match was rated, because I have a feeling this was a five-star match. This match was so good. I loved this match. And I hope you enjoyed this match too. As you can see, Elmore did a good job taking some control. And Panther did a good job taking control earlier as well. Both of these guys fighting for their lives. But here's your winner, the Panther, able to pick up the win against Elmore. Let's see. A four-star match. I believe that should have been a five-star match. But anyway, that ends this one. Let's move on to our main event match. Wow. And here we are with our main event. This is a singles match. And making his way to the ring, Sangre Blanco. Sangre Blanco is 7-3. And, and he's been in a rivalry with Mitchell Odin. This rivalry has been going on for about a month and a half now. And Blanco was able to pick up the win at the pay-per-view event a couple weeks ago. But the war is still not over. These two guys are going to keep on fighting until there's a true winner and they're looking to end it at cash slam so we'll have to see how that goes here tonight 
As you can see, Blanco's making his way to the ring, and Blanco's been very aggressive towards Odin, but Odin was able to get some vengeance, some revenge on Blanco by throwing him into the steel steps last week before Blanco went up against Javier Rodriguez. Blanco was still able to pull off the win, but it was a very upsetting, but it was very upsetting to see Odin go that far, showing how aggressive he can be throwing Blanco into the steel steps. But Blanco now making his way into the ring. He is ready to go in this match. And here we go. His opponent for this evening. Making his way to the ring. Mitchell Odin. Mitchell Odin is looking for some revenge here tonight. Looking to hopefully pick up a win and get rid of this cold streak he's been on for a while. Mitchell Odin is 2-8 and eight with wins and loss right now. He's really hoping to pick up a win because he needs it badly. And if he's able to pick up a win against Blanco, he will pull off a huge underdog victory here tonight against Blanco. But with everything we've seen so far in all the matches, it is very possible we will have that here tonight. Odin in the ring. He's ready to go, as you can see. So he says there... Bobs his head to the beat. Let's go ahead and get with our match. Sangre Blanco versus Mitchell Odin in 3, 2, 1. And Blanco making a first move, running over with a nice net running neck breaker. And now looking to pick up Odin. Oh no, just throwing a punch at Odin. But Odin was back up, now Irish whipping him into the ropes. There's a nice elbow right there onto Odin. Blanco doing a good job showing that aggressive attitude right onto Odin as Odin can't really do much right now and Blanco going top rope already and a beautiful elbow drop right there from the top rope and Odin looking to stomp on the arm once again he's hoping to get that arm injured up that way he can go ahead and put a submission hold in and now throwing Odin right into the ir looking for another Irish whip but it fails and but still taking control, grabbing Odin by the back of the neck, and now putting him on the ropes and throwing him backwards. Blanco, again, just taking full control of this match. And now putting a Odin in a submission hold. Will Odin tap out? No, Odin's able to fight out of it. There's a nice elbow right there onto Blanco. But Blan Blanco still takes control, picking up Odin and throwing him onto the top rope. And Blanco looking to go up top once again. And he's calling for Odin to get up. And a nice knife, a nice uh, tomahawk chop from the top rope. And now just working on that arm and going for Odin once again, putting him on his knees. And a nice move right there with an elbow drop to finish on the arm. As Blanco picks up Odin once again. Blanco just taking full control of this match. Now throwing Odin into the corner. And here we go with the whispers of the white wind. And Blanco doing a great job right here as he goes over. Trying to show the crowd that he is worthy of being cheered for. But the crowd does not like him whatsoever. They're hoping Odin can get up and get the win. And Blanco throwing Odin right into the turn the corner, missing it. Now Odin's going to take some control. There's a nice Russian leg sweep. Odin doing a good job taking some control now. And now aiming for the arm as well of Blanco and building up that momentum. Everyone excited that Odin's able to get back up and able to do some performance. And here we go, looking for his comeback. Beautiful super kick right there. Odin looks fired up and ready to go. And there's a standing moonsault right there on to Blanco. And now Odin looks to go up top. Here we go. Beautiful red arrow right there on to Sangre Blanco. Here's the pin. One, two. Not good enough. Blanco able to get out, but Odin does not believe it. He believes it should have been a three count. 
But Odin looking to go back up top once again. And a nice body splash right there onto Blanco, doing amazing damage. And picking Blanco up, but Blanco with a nice reversal and a nice uppercut. But Odin still taking control, throwing Blanco back down on the ground and putting his head in a nice choke hold, in a nice head hold. But Blanco able to get out of it. Both men are back up, but Odin still taking control, throwing Blanco into the corner. And looking to set Blanco up onto the top rope. Blanco with a nice reversal. Beautiful body splash right there onto Odin. And Blanco looking to finish it here with the white blood submission hold. And Odin has to tap out. Odin gains his ninth loss here while Sangre Blanco gains his tenth his uh eighth win. Oh my goodness. Here's your winner, Sangre Blanco. And this is the end of Friday Night Frenzy. The, as we can see, Blanco. Oh, no. Not again. Blanco going after Odin, still attacking him, showing no mercy. And the ref tries to break it up. But Blanco still goes. My goodness. All right, well, that ends this. Stay tuned. We'll look at power rankings and uh, rivalry. Okay, so I had a bit of a mess up uh, I accidentally pressed next show so I'm not able to see the news just yet but here's the rivalries we got an active rivalry already put in and it's the showdown champion Joseph Sage going up against Luke Barrett this should be very interesting two heels going at it but we also have these potential rivalries we have Florentino Rubio and pretty boy Max Barker and then we also have country life Kip Elmore and Panther Looking at a rivalry right there. And if you would like to see any of these rivalries, please let me know down below because your opinion matters. And if you want to get rid of one of these rivalries, let me know. We'll do that. And here's the rivalries we have as well for Monday Night Mania. And speaking of which, we are now two weeks away from our next pay-per-view event, Cash Slam. So this should be a very amazing pay-per-view match. We'll have to see what happens there. But let's look at our power rankings and see if we have a new number one. And we do not have a new number one. Flying X is still our number one. Holding on to that spot for two months now. Doing an amazing job right there. But our top five for Friday Night Frenzy. Flying X, Mitchell Odin taking Mark Bailey off of that list. Taking Mark Bailey's spot. Sangre Blanco, Mark Bailey, and Cedric Hawkins. Jumping from 15th up to 7th. But he is still in the top five for Friday Night Frenzy. Then our Monday Night Mania, we have Red Avenger, Tyson Phoenix, El Loco Gladiator, Rebecca Kelly, and Victor Collins taking up the lead right there. But as we look right here, X still where he's at. Odin moving up, Blanco and Avenger staying where they're at. Bailey moving down, Phoenix staying where he's at. Hawkins moving up, Panther moving down, Sage moving from 17th up to 9th, Gladiator moving down. Braxton moving from 20th to 11th. Roz moving down. Kelly moving up. Barker, Anderson both moving down. Barrett moving from the 39th to the 16th spot. My goodness. Bain, Collins both moving up. Coronado moving up from the 48th to the 19th spot. My goodness. Elmore, Adams both moving down. Payne moving up. Joyner. Kawasaki, Tice, both moving, all three of them moving down. Stratton moving up. Rubio, Rodriguez, Pfeiffer moving down. Straight, Overton, Jackson moving up. Bishop staying the same. Walker moving up. Bailey going down. Page going up. King going down. Watson staying the same. Harden, Knight, Shields all staying the same. Tyler going down. Ramirez, Simone, Young, Logan, Peace all staying the same. Poe, Riley, Hernandez, all moving up. Torres, staying the same. Love dropping from 29th to 52. And Lowe staying at the bottom, like usual. Well, that's it for Friday Night Frenzy and for the rest of this week of Week 9. And before we go, we got a special, a, uh, special news for you. We are going to have a gauntlet match. We're going to have all the contenders from 
Friday Night Frenzy fight it out this Saturday in singles competition for a shot at the Showdown Championship title. Oh, at the shot. Huh, I'm messing up. <laughs> we will have a gauntlet match for Monday Night Mania, and the winner will go up against the Heavyweight Champion or the Galaxy Champion. It's their choice. But we'll see how they do in those matches. And that will be posted Saturday through Sunday. So this should be amazing. And this match, and this uh, special match is going to be sponsored by Why We Watch Wrestling and the Feelings of Fighting Wrestling Company. Thank you again for joining me for Friday Night Frenzy. This is week 9. I'll see you in week 10 when we start with Monday Night Mania. Peace out.